Howdy, 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 and welcome back to my Halloween special video series I'm doing for helping you build your Halloween playlist for your parties that you're going to be having later tonight or next year or the year after, whenever you happen to watch these videos. Hopefully, what you're looking here for, of course, you're going to be uh, finding out some of my top picks for Halloween music. In this case, this video is going to be Heavy Metal Top 20. But the reason I'm doing these videos, as I said, is to help you kind of put together your own uh, Halloween music playlist for your parties and just to have fun with, if you want. So, we've already covered a few genres in prior videos. You'll Hopefully you either check them out already or you can go check those out. So we've done some rock and blues songs, some dance tracks, some novelty miscellaneous type songs. And the last video was soundtracks, uh, pieces of music and songs and whatnot from a uh, soundtrack, so now we're going to get into heavy metal. Now, I'm doing a top 20 here because there are actually quite a few genres of heavy metal. There's a lot of ground to cover with heavy metal. There's some stuff that's heavier than other stuff. So I wanted to kind of cover some of the best. Some of the stuff that should work for just about any playlist, depending on just how heavy you and your uh, party goers will be tolerant of okay so the way this will work is just like the other videos I'm going to tell you the name of the song in this case I will give you the artists for all of them and then I'll talk about them a little bit and then move on to the next one and if you're interested you can look them up on YouTube and check them out and see if you uh, want to include them in your playlist and then you acquire them however you usually acquire your music. Okay, so we're going to jump right in here. Real Solution number 9, White Zombie. Okay, very hard hitting track, very driving, but not so crazy that you couldn't include it on a playlist for people that don't normally listen to heavy metal. It's kind of crazy, it's, it's definitely heavy metal, but this is uh, white zombies not being too crazy, not too much cussing if that's a, an issue for you you might have kids I'm not sure that there's whole, much, or any cussing in Real Solution number 9, I'd have to look at the lyric sheet and it's definitely got a Halloween vibe to it definitely a creepy song, definitely heavy metal, hard hitting, crunchy but nothing that's going to give people nightmares, hopefully, or really offend anybody or piss people off or have you have them thinking that you're insane or something. It's a good all-around heavy metal track that should work on most playlists. Okay, Black Number One, Typo Negative. There's a few different variations of this song. Again, uh, there's uh, one instance of fucking in the track when he makes the comment like fucking the dead because the song is about dating a goth chick who is uh, about as warm and cuddly as an iron pipe but a black number one is about the color that she dyes her hair so it's a song about dating the goth chick and about going you know and one of the the chorus the chorus of it is uh, you want to go out, but it's because it's raining and blowing. You can't go out because your roots are showing by in black, and it's about trick or treating and Halloween stuff and goth. And it's a good song. It's got some crunchiness to it, some heavy metal vibes to it, but it's a bit on the the softer side of heavy metal, a bit more vibey. So this is another one that it's definitely got some metal aspects to it. But uh, Typo Negative is the band, if I didn't say so. They were kind of a goth metal band, so they, a lot of their stuff would... Basically, you could use their entire playlists, you know, their entire catalog for Halloween. But, you know, different songs will give you different mileage, depending on what you're looking for. This one should fit into most playlists and not be, a, you know, not cause any trouble. Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath the original heavy metal song, basically. Creepy as hell, moody, dark, everything that heavy metal would come to be in its earliest form. Again, this is one that should not bother most people. It's very creepy, so you can get some of that metal energy and, you know, 
metalness in there without uh, freaking anybody out if they're not used to heavy metal and might not take it so well. Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath should go over pretty well. Where do monsters go? Necromantics. Okay, Necromantics, a psychobilly group, which is punk influenced by groups like the Misfits, which was kind of horror movie punk, mixed with swing music. That's psychobilly, and a little bit of rockabilly, you know, it's rockabilly mixed with harder punk music. And Where Do Monsters Go is a song about, you know, at the beginning of the song, it's Where Do Monsters Go When They're Not on the Film Set. So it, it's a song about what, you know, what the movie monsters do when they're not making movies. It's very fast-paced, it's very hard-hitting, but it's got a great bass line to it because, you know, it uses a stand-up swing bass, you know, with, you know, its swing style. Really good song, very fun. Most people shouldn't have a problem with it. If you're looking for something with some really hard-hitting energy to it, you can't really go wrong with Necromantics. They've got a lot of play, uh, songs in their play their catalog that would work for Halloween. This happens to be one that I thought was a really good pick. Here you can also go with uh, Life is a Grave and I Dig It. Uh, and Dead Girls Don't Cry. They've got a lot of good ones, like horror movie... Uh, punk swing music, you know, check them out, they're fun, Necromantics, that's N-E-K-R-O-M-A-N-T-I-X, up next we've got Bark at the Moon, Ozzy, I said Ozzy would make another appearance in the first video, Bark at the Moon, this is Ozzy on more of the heavy metal side of things, song about either some sort of werewolf or a, a dark spirit that's risen from the grave to get revenge, Again, this is 80s heavy metal, even though this is on the harder side of things. It's not hair metal, but this should not be too hard for most people. They should be able to handle it. And when I say that, I'm not, you know, ooh, wimps can't hand handle heavy metal. People are used to different styles of music. If you're wanting to include some heavy metal because it fits with Halloween really well, but you're not sure what you want, this one should work for most people. You know, it, it's... It's a lot darker than something like Crazy Train. Crazy Train would also work as a Halloween song. But this one, I think, you know, you get a bit of the darker stuff with from Ozzy without going into, like, No More Tears, which is kind of basically about a serial killer. At least that's what it sounds like it's about. Or Mr. Crowley is a good one as well. But... And, uh, and I already talked about Diary of a Madman, but those are all very dark songs. This one is dark, but still kind of... You can, you can play it at a party, basically. Diary of a Madman, you can play at a party, but it's going to... It might bring the thing down. You just have to kind of pick and choose what, you're, what kind of vibes you're going for. Okay. Now we've got I'm Your Boogeyman, Rob Zombie, who was the lead man of White Zombie that he went off on his own. His own stuff, working solo, was a little bit more party music based anyway. I already had uh, Dragula in the rock playlist because that, that's a bit more of a rock song. It's it's a bit harder. You could call it heavy metal, but it's to me it's more of a hard rock song. I'm Your Boogeyman. Again, it's kind of right there on the edge, but I think there's some aspects of it that are a bit more heavy metal. And it, it, it's a cover song of an old blues track. It's a fun song. It's not too hard for most people, I wouldn't think. It's got some dancey vibes to it. It's a pretty good track. Okay, now we've got Mind Tile, Rammstein. This might be a little bit too extreme for some people, for some playlists. Again, you're going to have to know your audience, know who's going to be uh, listening to your playlist. Uh, subject matter wise, the the song "Mind Tile" is my part, and yeah, you know, I don't know if I want to tell the story about it. It's a pretty fucked up song, and the the story behind it is very fucked up. Uh, basically, it's about an, an incident with a German guy who wanted to to experiment with cannibalism, and I'll leave it at that. Very creepy song. It's got a hard vibe to it. But, of course, it's in German, so people aren't going to know what the lyrics are unless they speak German. And overall, 
I mean, it's Rammstein. It's hard hitting. It's got that industrial metal uh, crunchiness and just serious distortion to it. But it's also got that kind of almost dancey repetitiveness to it. So again, this is one you'll have to kind of make your own call on. Up next, we've got Supernova Goes Pop, Power Man 5000. Uh, the lead guy of Power Man 5000, I think, is a Rob Zombie's cousin, something to that effect. Uh, where uh, Rob Zombie likes more of the, the old school horror movie type stuff. The dude that's in Power Man 5000 likes a lot of the, the schlocky sci fi classics, uh, you know, sci fi B movies and weirdo sci fi movies, and that's where he draws a lot of inspiration from. Supernova Goes Pop, hard hitting track but also dancey and are poppy enough that I think it would fit into most playlists. It's a pretty good song, fits in reasonably well for a Halloween playlist. Up next we've got Halloween, King Diamond. King Diamond it may be an acquired taste, but this is a very good song and it's called Halloween. So if you want some heavy metal that maybe isn't all that mainstream, King Diamond Halloween, very good Halloween song. Then we've got another uh, track with the same lead singer. The band is Merciful Fate, but King Diamond was the lead singer of Merciful Fate for quite a while. Uh, you know, all their earlier stuff. And Into the Coven, Merciful Fate is the song. Again, this is about somebody joining a witch's coven. Basically, you could put entire albums of King Diamond and Merciful Fate into a Halloween playlist if that's the kind of crowd you're going to have. Because King Diamond does a lot of concept albums that tell stories, and they're all like horror movies. And a lot of Merciful Fate stuff was about things like witches and the Bell Witch and taking an oath to the devil and, you know, old school horror movie creepy stuff. So, practically anything by King Diamond or Merciful Fate would work, but these two songs, I would say, they're not too crazy so they'll fit into most playlists, but they're definitely heavy metal, and they're definitely good for Halloween playlists. Okay, up next we've got The Thing That Should Not Be by Metallica. Okay, Metallica, a bit mainstream, this is not off of one of their, uh, you know, their, this is off of a pre-Black Album album. I believe this one's on The Master of Puppets. The Thing That Should Not Be, I believe, yeah, Master of Puppets. And it is based off of H.P. Lovecraft's stories, as is another selection that will be on here, I believe. I guess I didn't put it on there. It's a Cthulhu Dawn, I believe, is the name of the track. Now, I had enough stuff to cover the playlist without repeating anything on here, any groups. But uh, Metallica, uh, Cthulhu Dawn. No, it's just the Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu Dawn is a different group. But uh, the Call of Cthulhu is another one you could have in your playlist. I've got uh, Call of Cthulhu, For Whom the Bell Tolls, The Thing That Should Not Be, To Live Is To Die, Anesthesia, and or or Orion by Metallica. Most of these are instrumentals. To Live Is To Die, I believe To Live Is To Die is Anesthesia. Pulling Teeth and or Orion or Orion and um, the Call of Cthulhu are all instrumentals. They're all very good early Metallica. But I picked the thing that should not be because the lyrics are creepy, the song is definitely hard hitting, it's it's Metallica at their best, basically. Up next, we've got Prophecy by Judas Priest. Judas Priest, Kings of Heavy Metal. Again, this is going to be kind of old-school style heavy metal, so most people will find that this is not too crazy for them. And as for the subject matter, this is from uh, an album that's about uh, Nostradamus, the so-called uh, prophet who had all these books of prophecies that some people believe in very strongly. It's a good album. Prophecy is my favorite song off of it. It's, I believe, the first song on the album. Great opener. For, perfect for Halloween. And if you're looking for some heavy metal that most people can uh, deal with just fine, that shouldn't uh, get on anybody's nerves, this is a really good song. 
Okay. Now we're going to go into some crazier heavy metal stuff. So these are going to be some ones you're really going to have to know your your party goers before you're going to want to mess with this stuff. Some of them. So first up we have Her Ghost in the Fog, Cradle of Filth. A Cradle of Filth is a, an extreme metal group with, you know, black metal influences from England. And again, if you're into their music, you could use entire albums for a Halloween playlist. If you're looking for something that's kind of crazy and you actually want something in your playlist that is just going to really mess with people, you know, in terms of heavy metal and just being ex kind of extreme, this one is pretty extreme without being too insane. It definitely has a horror movie vibe to it. It's from an album that is actually inspired by and based around the movie uh, uh, The Nightbreed. So, it's a really good song. It was the first song of theirs I personally got into. It's not, uh, it has an opening by the guy who does the voice of uh, Pinhead in Hellraiser. So, all in all, it's a really good song. It's not too insane, but it's still Cradle of Filth, so, you know, check it out on YouTube. There, There is an official music video. It's an abbreviated version of the song. So, just check it out and see if you're interested. Okay, up next we've got Under the Weeping Moon, Opeth. Opeth is a progressive metal group. They've got a lot of variety to choose from. Some of their stuff works really well for Halloween. This one is definitely one that does. It's again more on the extreme metal side of things, a bit more black metal. Uh, this is a song that heavily employs the death growl style of vocals, so if people aren't going to be used to this, it might be a bit much for them, but it is a very creepy Halloween type of song. Works very well for a Halloween playlist if you're looking for some harder hitting heavy metal that's a bit crazy. Or sounds crazy, at least. Up next, we've got Hell Awaits Slayer. Classic Slayer. Very, very fast once it kicks off because it has a really great intro, a lead in, before it kicks off. Then, I mean, it just goes and it's a mile a minute. And, you know, if you're looking for some thrashy, hard, fast stuff, Hello 8 Slayer, perfect. Okay, next we've got Gore Gore by Guar. It's a song about a giant dinosaur monster wreaking havoc and then being destroyed by the, the you know, the, the alien overlord Guar. It's a crazy song. Most people should be okay listening to it. It's not that insane. It's definitely heavy metal, but it's more... You know, most people should find it acceptable. So I'd say it's a pretty damn good fit for most playlists if you're looking for some of that heavy metal vibe and energy. Into the Water, Death Clock is up next. Death Clock from Metalocalypse. Animated group. But still, uh, Brendan Smalls is the, the guy behind it. Put out some pretty damn good heavy metal tracks. Into the Water happens to be my favorite Death Clock track. It is uh, catchy compared to a lot of their other stuff, even though it does employ the Death Growl type vocals. Uh, most people should be able to get into the groove of it. It's got more of a catchy groove sort of thing going on. It's a pretty damn good track you might want to consider it for your Halloween playlist if you're looking for some heavy metal stuff. Up next we've got Reptile Demu Borger or Borger. Again, this is more uh, in the vein of Cradle of Filth. We're talking more extreme black metal sort of stuff here. Uh, it's a song about the devil getting somebody to kill somebody with poison is the way I've always interpreted the lyrics. It's kind of hard to tell with them though. But it's an interesting song. It has a contrast in vocals because there's one guy who does clean operatic vocals and then you have the more extreme uh, black metal and death growly type vocals, deep vocals and stuff going on. It's got some interesting contrasts in there. Uh, inside, the Inside and the Catharsis is another good one. Uh, 
that entire album is actually pretty damn good and would work quite well as uh, you know something to include on a Halloween playlist spiritual black dimensions but uh, reptile I think if you just want one track from them that's a good one uh, blood hunger doctrine is another song of theirs I really like that I have in my playlist but again if you just want one song from you know any particular group because you don't want to overload on heavy metal you just want some variety in there and you want some harder hitting stuff Reptile's a pretty good pick. Okay, then we got Number of the Beast, Iron Maiden, Old School Metal, Power Metal, Iron Maiden style heavy metal. So this should fit into most playlists. And it's about the devil, so it's it's, it's a great Halloween song. Works real well. So we're going to bring this up uh, bring this to a close our my final pick. We're going to go back to Ministry after they went industrial with NWO. Now they have other songs that might fit in better with Halloween, but this is one, again, you have a little bit more of that industrial dancey vibe going on and the idea of New World Order and, you know, you know, some sort of spooky cabal of businessmen and whatnot, you know, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call it, trying to control the whole world. And all that stuff is something that scares a lot of people. So the concept behind NWO is an interesting uh, subject matter, an interesting topic. It is kind of creepy. The song is pretty damn good. It's driving, hard-hitting. And, I mean, it's definitely industrial metal, but, again, it has kind of that repetitive, dancey kind of feel to it. So... If people, you know, if you're dealing with people, you know, at your party that maybe you listen to heavy metal, but they mostly listen to pop music or dance music or whatnot, Ministry is probably a group that you would want to look into if you haven't already. And if you, again, if you're just looking for a few picks for heavy metal to get some variety into your playlist, this is, should be a pretty good pick for you. So that has been my uh, t top 20 picks plus a few recommendations for heavy metal for your Halloween playlist. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye-bye. And have a happy Halloween.